Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. As you all know, on this channel we cover different type of interview question asked in various placement and job interview. So subscribe to our channel if you are preparing for your upcoming interviews. So today's question is related to a dice. And this is one of the common questions which is asked maximum number of time in a quant interview this year. And the question is, suppose you are playing a dice game in which you will get a payoff equivalent to the number that came onto the dice, right? But there are two options for you. Either you can take the payoff and end the game there or you can get the second chance to roll the dice and get the payoff coming on the second chance. This is the condition. So let's understand this with the help of an example. If you roll a die and get 4, you can do two things. Either you can choose to take 4 or ask to roll the die again. And on the second turn, if you get the number 1, then you have to take 1 which is lesser than the payoff you got on the first chance. But you have to settle it for once. So the question is, what is that expected payoff you will get? right? And you are a rational person, so you will of course choose to maximize the payoff. So how will you go about this problem? But before that, find out our ebook on quant interview questions, which have recently been asked in top forms. Please find the link in the description box and from the pinned comment. It will be very helpful for you. Now back to the question. So let's first calculate the expected payoff you would get on first rolling the die. Right? It would be 1 by 6 multiplied by 1 plus 1 by 6 multiplied by 2 up to 1 by 6 multiplied by 6. Because the probability of getting 1 on the die is 1 by 6. Similarly, because the dice is fair, similarly getting the number 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, the probability will be 1 by 6. So this is the expected payoff if you roll the die. Now, as I'm a rational person, I would want to maximize my payoff, right? So what should I do? So what would be my strategy? I would want to maximize the payoff. So what will I do? If I get the number 1, 2, 3, I will choose to roll the die again because the expected payoff of rolling the die is 3.5 and I am getting lesser than the expected payoff. That is where I will choose to roll the die again. If I get 4, 5, 6 on the die, I will keep it because it is greater than the expected payoff. Now I hope you get the concept. So what will be my expected payoff? It will be 1 by 6 multiplied by 3.5. Why? Because if I get 1, 2, 3, I will roll the die again. And what would be the expected payoff of rolling the die? It is 3.5. So 1 by 6 multiplied by 3.5. And if I get 4, 5, 6, I will keep it. And the probability is 1 by 6 multiplied by 4 plus 1 by 6 multiplied by 5 plus 1 by 6 multiplied by 6. That will come out to be 4.25. It would be my expected payoff in this game. Right? Consider I am a rational person. I want to maximize the payoff. I hope you have learned something new from this video. I will meet you on to the next one. Till then, keep learning and keep watching.